Hello, this is Scott Cruz, intuitive medium life coach, blending the worlds of metaphysics and psychotherapy. Anxiety, if you're human, you've experienced it, we've all experienced it, to what degree depends on the individual. But if you're a person that's constantly grappling with anxiety, this video is for you. Now, first and foremost, it's very important to identify what anxiety really is. Anxiety is an emotional manifestation of any thought, focus, or belief that is out of alignment or contradicts your true self. Think of anxiety as an indication of when you're actually going in the wrong direction. You're thinking in the wrong direction or you're giving your power away. So there are many reasons why anxiety manifests. The core one is the suppression of intuition. Your intuition is your guidance system. It's your lifeline. When you cut yourself off from your lifeline, anxiety is going to manifest to let you know this. Now, a lot of people focus on anxiety as a condition. Anxiety is an indication. Just like the check engine light in your car, aren't you glad it alerts you when the engine needs servicing? Aren't you glad for this? So anxiety is the same tool. It's an indication. It's alerting you. Look, this needs attention. Service this part of yourself. When you see anxiety this way for what it really is, we then get to really kind of master the things that have been limiting us or master and convert the things that have been holding us back all along and convert them into our strengths. Now, there are many reasons why anxiety manifests. The one major one is suppression of intuition. If you're not following your intuition, anxiety is going to manifest. So when you start having anxiety over situations that you feel intuitive about and you're not listening to that intuition, start listening to your intuition. Consider your intuition. Ask yourself, are you being rational or irrational? That's the time to really observe your thought process and then start to see how it coincides with your intuition. Now, almost 100% of the times, your intuition is completely rational, the true intuition. So, of course, if you're being irrational, anxiety is going to alert you to that. So identify when you are overriding your intuition, because remember, your intuition is your lifeline. If you cut off your lifeline, anxiety is going to manifest. Another reason why anxiety manifests is when you create false perceptions in your mind of yourself that is contrary to the truth or even the collective truth. So for example, if you're in a relationship with someone that you're constantly trying to get their attention and get their validation, you're throwing your power away. You're throwing your control away. You are saying that my emotional happiness, my well-being is dependent on how somebody else treats me or handles me or does not. Anxiety is going to manifest saying, no, 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 you should not be giving your power away this way. It's going to feel bad. It's going to feel like shit. So thank God anxiety will be there to alert you that you're giving your power. You're suppressing yourself once again. So in those moments, it's really important to identify when you actually are overriding the truth to fix a problem that doesn't need fixing. It's very, very important to be aware of this. At the end of the day, it's important to nurture the self, to validate yourself through yourself, not through external sources. Another common reason why anxiety manifests is having irrational worry or fear for things outside of your control. If you're oversaturating your life about what's going on in the outside world and very fearful or worried about what's happening or things you cannot control and you're not taking action or will not take action or cannot take action to resolve it, you're going to have anxiety. Again, you are over encumbering yourself with things that don't relate to you. And so whether it's part of the world or somebody else's life or you're just absorbing energy to things you don't like, that's also irrational thinking. In those moments, it's time to redirect and focus on your own personal life, your individual life. The more you build your individual life, you'll be an inspiration to others. And of course, if you inspire others, they will inspire others. And of course, that will spread like wildfire and thus fixing the collective in the long run. So again, having focused on things that are out of your control and things that you cannot even solve, you must redirect it to things that you can control in your own individual life. And that will then get rid of the anxiety. Another reason why anxiety manifests is a connection to past traumas. Now, if we have unresolved traumas of our past and we haven't quite dealt with those traumas, there are many triggers in our lives that will trigger those past traumas daily. Now, in these moments, it's important to ask yourself, are these triggers rational? So, for example, you can say, well, I, my dad, I was abused by my dad, so, you know, therefore I have, I have a fear of opening up to other men. And, but is that really rational? Does your dad represent all men? Does your dad represent all fathers? Your dad is his own entity as everyone else is their own entity. Stop creating him everywhere you go. So, of course, if these triggers are coming up, it's telling you that you need to resolve your past traumas. And, of course, we know what our traumas are. We've, we think we've gotten past them because you know, we're living today free of them. We've, a lot of times, many people have you know, just moved forward and 
track through it, but we never subconsciously or psychologically resolve the traumas. And we know this because we have constant triggers. Use those triggers to identify the irrational thought process behind them and keep those traumas isolated in their own experiences and create new ones moving forward. Another big reason why anxiety manifests in one's life is because they're an empath. If you're absorbing other people's emotions and you're not good at filtering that out, you're going to manifest anxiety. There are many empaths out there that do not know how to filter out other people's energies. And so what they're doing is they're kind of absorbing other people's energies. They're kind of blending it with their own. And so they become confused about how they really feel. Anxiety is alerting you that you are actually blending other people's energy with your own and when to identify when it is your energy or someone else's energy and how to block yourself from it. So empaths, hear me loud and clear, it is not your responsibility to fix and change everything. When you're trying to change things that are out of your control, anxiety is going to manifest. And many empaths bring on this burden unnecessarily and they're just giving their power away. Now, I give you many examples why anxiety manifests. But at the end of the day, if you sum it all up, it all represents the same thing. Anxiety is an indication where you're suppressing yourself. You're overriding your self-truth. You're giving your power away. You're giving your control away to other people. This is why anxiety manifests. And whether it be through trauma, relationships, being an empath, it doesn't matter. Use that anxiety to identify what has been suppressing and limiting you the whole time in your life. And when you work on this behavior, of course, the anxiety goes away. Joy, excitement, and peace would be the new indication when you convert these behaviors. Now, it's a very simplified approach to anxiety and simplified solutions, of course. A lot of times we need to work one-on-one -on -one to get to, to the depths and to get to the, the nitty-gritty of, of the, what's causing anxiety. So if you need that assistance, you can book a session with me at scottcruzpm.com to identify the cause of anxieties and what you can do to convert it and to reprogram it. Or you can subscribe to this channel. I will be posting new content every week with new topics. So if you have any comments about topics you would like for me to discuss, comment down below. And please remember, you are the god of your own myth. What do you want to create? Much love.